Hello, HAA, and welcome. We're going to give it a couple more seconds until some people jump on. Grab your lunch, get comfortable. Put your feet up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us today um, for the Membership 101 Orientation for Management Professionals. My name is Kayla Newcomb. I'm the Membership and Marketing Manager here at HAA, and I'm also joined by a team of staff members that are always here uh, ready to answer any questions that you all have. If we're spotty or freezing, please put it in the chat and let us know. We seem to be having a little bit of technical difficulties, so we're we're trying a different, um, a couple different things. So we want to make sure that y'all can hear us and see us. Um, like Kathy said, grab your lunch, sit down, relax. We're going to go over a ton of information about the ins and outs of HAA and how to get involved and get the most out of your membership. If you're on this call today, you are a member of HAA. If you did not know that you're a member, please reach out to someone on staff here and we will get you set up and ready to roll with all things HAA. This is a Zoom webinar, so your cameras are off. We can't see or hear you, but there is a chat box that we are that you're welcome to ask us a question at any time, or there's a Q&A that will be monitored the whole meeting and we'll answer your questions at the end. After this meeting, we'll upload the recording to our YouTube channel, HAA TV, no spaces. So feel free to share it with any of your coworkers or anyone that may have missed the meeting today. Um, we would like to go ahead and thank our sponsors first, Santos Contracting. Santos Contracting is a company that has been contracting the industry for over 25 years, serving the residential and commercial properties. Specializing in all types of remodeling, such as roofing, painting, flooring, siding, windows, doors, fences, patio additions, kitchens, baths, and more. They know their clients' time is valuable. They help you make sure that your projects are stress-free with their expert, expert tradesmen. They can also help you with insurance claims. Their main goal is to have the best experience possible in their time of, in your time of need. Don't hesitate to give them a call. You'll be glad you did. We appreciate our sponsors so much. This meetings, meetings like this cannot happen without them. All right, our orientators today are two women that I personally look up to in our plethora of information when it comes to HAA. First, we have Ms. Kathy O'Connell Clem, owner of Vast Coaching Resources Incorporated. Kathy is a multifamily real estate specialist and a Texas estate broker with a master's of arts in organizational management and development and an evidence-based coaching certificate certification, excuse me. She is a personal and professional development coach and a consultant and also works as a special projects manager for AAA Apartment Staffing, a nationwide apartment staffing company owned by her mother and her sister, Elizabeth and Ann O'Connell. Over her 40 plus year professional career, Kathy has managed operations of apartment communities in more than 16 markets throughout the United States with portfolios of up to 16,000 apartment homes for private fee managed and public companies. As a 40 year volunteer for the Houston Apartment Association, she has shared many community committees, including the committee outreach and the education committee and has been on the board of directors since 1992 serving as the, as the HAA president in 2003 and served two years on the executive committee, committee excuse me, of the Texas Apartment Association. Kathy has recently published her first book, Speak It in Spanish, Workplace Spanish Made Easy for the Multifamily Industry, combining her passions of language, communication, and engagement to improve engaged, engagement and connection in the workplace. We also have Amanda Sherbandi presenting today. Amanda is the Vice President of Membership and Marketing at the Houston Apartment Association and has been on staff here since 2007. She is a native Houstonian earning a paralegal certification from the Texas School of Business and is a certified association executive. She has been in the multifamily industry since 1991 employed by various owner management firms with experience in property management, acquisitions, and corporate marketing and training. Amanda currently oversees the HAA membership department and also handles supplier service such as sales for Abode Magazine, the Directory and Buyer's Guide, Expo Booths, and is a staff liaison for various HAA committees. 
Welcome, ladies, and thank you all for joining us today and sharing your knowledge. Thank you. Hello. Oh. Thanks, Kaylin. Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do, I'm actually going to trade cameras. <laughs> I'm going to turn my camera off and then Amanda's going to come on. We're going to launch a poll first thing. Yep. So if y'all don't mind, go ahead and just um, answer this question for us. How long have you been in the multifamily industry? Oh, wow. There's one that's been over here over 16 years. Cool. All right. Two to five, six to 10. Awesome. Oh, we've got three that have been over for over 16 years. Thanks so much for participating, guys. That's great. And I really appreciate people that have been in the industry a long time joining this type of webinar, because even some of the past presidents that have um, helped me in the past with these presentations, several of them have learned something that they didn't know during the, during the hour that we spend together. So there's always something new and different going on. And so a refresher is really great. But why don't we go ahead and start talking about how, how to make HAA your HAA. The things that we're going to review during this hour is talk a little bit about HAA, uh, the importance of our advocacy and legislative efforts, professional development opportunities, our various member programs and member resources that are free to our members. Also, publications that uh, our members are have access to, networking opportunities, volunteer opportunities, and supplier partner support. And at the end, we'll have a time for a question and answer. But if any time during the presentation you have a question, um, there is a chat box where you can put it in and we'll pick that up and answer those as well. So let's talk about what the Houston Apartment Association is all about. Um, our mission statement is that the Houston Apartment Association is a leading advocate, resource, and community partner for quality rental housing providers in Houston and surrounding areas. And I'm going to turn it over to Amanda so she can tell you a little about the a little bit about the history of our organization. Yeah. So guys, get, believe it or not, if you've heard of HAA, of course, that's probably something that you're involved with, or you might have heard about it. But there's also the Texas Apartment Association and the National Apartment Association. But I'm most proud because HAA is where it all started. Over 60 years ago, a couple of owners met because there was a water issue that was facing them and the industry. And they decided to get together and try to fight it to try to see if they could protect owners. And then they, from there, it started on and they started this uh, part Houston Apartment Association, which eventually turned um, over and then turned into starting the TAA and the NAA. Very, very cool. We're very, very proud of, proud of that history. You'll also notice sometimes that the Houston Apartment Association, HAA, also has other entities. So you may have heard of HAF, which is the Houston Apartment Foundation. That is our education arm of the association, and it is a nonprofit. And then we also have a Houston Multi-Housing Corporation. That is the for-profit side. And then you'll see, if you get invoices from HMHC, um, which is what we call it, you will see that will be because you've purchased forms or an ad of some sort or an expo booth. It's mostly for our supplier partner stand, but um, sometimes you may get those invoices as well. So there's three entities here that are part of our association and they're all here to help benefit you. Thank you, Amanda. Sure. So we keep growing, right? As of today, we represent 688,880 units across 3,262 properties. We are the largest apartment Association in the United States. I'd venture to say probably in the world. I'll just go ahead and say that. <laughs> the <universe. laughs> uh, and there's also, we also represent 868 management companies and 762 supplier members. And our membership categories include owner management companies. And if you're on here today, you are you are related probably to a management company or an independent owner that are small owners. Our supplemental owners, those are um, those are companies that they typically have a third party management company managing for them, but they still want the benefits 
of their ownership of those properties. So they will join. And then of course, a group we couldn't do without our supplier members. And they, they have various levels of involvement within the association. And like I said, we really couldn't do what we do without them. And almost, you know, with 688,000 units, you can imagine how much area that covers. So if you look at the map on the slide that we're showing here, HAA represents 12 counties. Remember that for later. Um, but the, the ones that are highlighted are all the counties that we represent. You'll note Galveston and Jackson are not represented as the ones in color. Um, but, you know, being bigger than Dallas, we have to do more. So that just shows you the difference. And as we get into our presentation, we'll show you what we do to make sure that all of our counties get um, get information and uh, and vital uh, background and resources that they need to help them do their job in the multifamily industry. But let's talk about our membership. Yeah, absolutely, Kathy. So again, there is th it's three memberships in one. It's you've got your Houston Apartment Association, your Texas, and your National. When your company pays the dues for your property, that includes all the staff and it includes the management firm as well. So when you join or you join a firm or management company, you're automatically a member if they're an HAA member. There's nothing extra for you to pay or to do. All you need to do is sign up, get your own login and you're on your way to, to being a member and getting involved at whatever level works for you. So, so if, if it's, let me ask you a question. If there's like five employees on a property, they can each have their own login. That's right. That's right. And each person, we highly recommend that each person do have their own login, just because sometimes there's a lot of changes that happen on properties. You may be at one property today and you might get transferred to another property the next or even change your company. Um, but always make sure that you let us know whenever you do change companies. Or if you've got a teammate that wants to, to be involved with the association as well, have them reach out to us, to members at haaonline.org, and we'll set them up their own profile as well. Right. And I think that uh, Kaylin just put the information on where to email if you need a login in the chat. So you'll have that. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And then one little thing I wanted to point out, if you've got properties, Kat, Kathy mentioned that we do not cover Galveston. We also do not cover Beaumont or that area. Um, unfortunately, you do have to join that association if you want to be a member. So HA only covers those 12 counties, um, even though that does include your state and your national, each local affiliate has their own association and their own due structure. So keep that in mind. Right. Well, let's talk a little bit about leadership. There's two groups. There's the board of direct directors and the committee chairs. And then from the staff perspective, we have several departments, membership, education, government affairs, communications, resident relations, and more. As you can imagine, with as many uh, units as we support as an organization, it takes a lot of staff and volunteers to make sure that, that it gets all done. But let's look if um, at our officers and association leadership. This in this slide, you'll see Stephanie Graves is the current president. Howard Bookstaff is our general counsel. Casey Watts Morgan is our CEO, and then we have uh, Gina Irwin, who's president elect. Shelly Watson, who's secretary treasurer. And then in addition, we have five. We call them VPALs, vice presidents at large. And that includes Lowell Prophet, Ryan Terrell, Quintina Willis, Tracy Yoder, and Christy Rodriguez, who is our immediate past president. And this is our executive leadership. Then you'll see the names uh, to the right of that. And that includes the board of directors. We also have directors emeritus, advisory directors, um, honorary lifetime members, and then patron members. And the directors emeritus, a lot of those are people that um, have maybe retired or are not full-time in the business anymore. But if you look at that list, there are still a lot of those uh, emeritus members that are very, very, um, I think I'm in there. Yes, very active in the association. So we have a lot of strong volunteers and we continue to need more. For sure. And then, 
you'll also see the staff content sheet, uh, the staff sheet, contact sheet. We have 18 staff members and they're ready to assist anytime. And, you know, as uh, Kaylin mentioned, I've been involved in the apartment association for 40 years. So I can tell you firsthand from my, all of my involvement over the years, I probably couldn't have done as much as I did with the association without the help of each department and each person within HAA, because they help us do more and to be able to represent our or, uh, our industry better. And so this now this is going to be on HAA TV, but the people that are on the signed up for the call today, will they also get a copy of the slide deck too? Oh yes, for sure. So, great. So you'll have you'll have all of these slides that we're going over um, after the call this afternoon. So if you ever need to reach out to somebody, at least with this sheet, you can put a name with a face, and I think it would make it easier. So let's switch from there and talk about advocacy because advocacy is really, if you look at how HAA started. It was because of the advocacy needed to make sure that we had a voice in how our industry was controlled from a regulatory and a law basis. So I'm going to let Amanda talk to you about that. Yeah, for sure. That is that's basically almost the purpose of every association is their lobbying efforts and their strength in a for them to be able to protect their their um their members. So just like Kathy just said, we have a full staff here. And one of the one of the big most important parts of our staff team is our government affairs team. We've got a um, vice president of public affairs, which is Bradley. And he um, is also has an assistant, which we have not hired just yet. That, that uh, seat is vacant right now, but we are looking actively for someone to help him out because we've got so much going on. Um, but basically the, we do have a political action committee that you can join if you are interested in looking out and being involved with the efforts that our government affairs team is making to support our property owners and our owner operators. So they're actively looking to make sure that any type of piece of, of legislation isn't coming up the pipeline that we can fight or we can argue against, or if it's something that we want to implement. That is what our job is as an association is to make sure that our owners are protected and their assets are protected and you are protected as an employee. So if you wanted to join our political action committee, there is an additional fee for that. And it is a personal contribution um, that you would have to make. It starts out at like a hundred bucks for the year. Um, and then there are also lunches that you're able to attend where you'll be able to meet other owners and other members that are interested in advocacy as well. They um, also will listen to candidates that we will bring in that we want to interview to make sure that their goals and and what they are their views are are aligned with ours um, we make political contributions to their campaigns with your membership dollars and you're able to go in and sit in and on these lunches and have a voice be able to listen intently and and figure out who is going to be the best candidate for HAA to endorse so um, there's there's it's all different levels it's like local it's state, it's national, federal. Um, there's all different types of advocacy that we've got going on constantly. And again, that government affairs team is heavily working for you in that aspect. Um, one of the other things that you want to um, keep note of, and even if uh, I, there used to be a government affairs person here, his name was Andy Tease. He was here for over 30 years. I got, I was had the honor of working with him, but I remember when I first started, he basically told me, even though Amanda, you're not involved or you're not interested in politics, politics is interested in you. And that really hit me because I thought, you know, I, it's, and I think probably most of you on this Zoom call might feel the same way. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, I can deal with that. Just tell me what to do. Well, if you take a different look at it and think, how can you make an impact? Because you're on the front lines. You are seeing the issues. You're seeing the things that property managers are facing every single day. And when property taxes become an issue for you and it impacts your budget, <laughs> that's when you want to go, hey, maybe I need to, to get a little bit more involved with that. 
and educate yourself on what is exactly going on. So this is just a little small infograph on your screen on certain things that we have we have worked on, but I wanted to share with you some of the things that we have taken on and we've passed. So example, protection from late fee lawsuits that came up a couple of years ago. Um, again, the limit on property tax increases. Um, we defeated the bill to prohibit your access to eviction records. That was at one point where that was coming through the line. We fought it, we won, and you're able to access that information still. Eviction moratoriums, we talked that about talked that to death when we were going through the pandemic, but um, we were able in Harris County, we were able to help property managers and owners not have the biggest brunt that most of the country was facing, thanks to our team. And then city fee transparency, that was also something that we just went to the Capitol with, and we were able to get that passed as well. Some of the other things that we're still working on, again, property tax, I know y'all are hearing that all over the news right now, but also eviction court filings in Texas are not consistent right now, and we are gathering all of the troops to try to make that something that's more, more streamlined. So that if you're in Houston, you're not dealing with a different um, different eviction process in Sugarland or the Woodlands or any other municipality that might have um, eviction court. So that's something that our team's constantly working on. We're always in the background, and again, you go to you go to Howard's legal seminars, and he'll tell you what passed. But sometimes we need to get ahead of it, and then that's when um, our government affairs team will step in. If you're interested in joining, here is a list of all of the different levels of joining to be a on the political action committee. You've got the Century Club, you've got which is a hundred dollars. Again, you don't get really any voting rights with that, um, but you can be the observer and kind of listen in and hear what's happening live and, and in the, you know, in the moment. And then you've got your Century Club, which is $125 a year, and you do get a vote. So whenever they're voting on candidates, your, your vote literally does count. Um, a trustee is the $500 level, and then you get the steering committee, which is at the $1,500 level. If you're interested in this, just go to haonline.org and click on advocacy and all of that information will pop up there. And then if you're interested in joining, um, you'll be able to join online. And then um, you want to, if you want to go to the lunches, those are $40 a piece. Just, you'll be able to just register on the website for that. There's also, and it might be too late this year, there's also a fast track option. So if you wanted to just pay for all your lunches in advance, which you're, you can pay with corporate funds, um, with a corporate credit card, you can do that for the lunches, just not the membership itself. Um, you can do that, and then that way you don't have to worry about registering. You'll just get an, a calendar invite, click accept, and then you show up. We've got a pre-printed name tag for you. All you need to do is walk in the door and go grab your lunch and start networking. So if again, if you're interested, go to the advocacy tab at, the, at HAA's website and uh, check out more information. And there's also, if you've got questions, send them to govaffairs at haaonline.org. Thank Kathy, you. is there anything that I missed or anything you need to add to that? You, no, you did a great job. You covered okay. a lot. And it, it really is important. And it's not something that if you're if you're not involved in it, you may not know. So I'm really glad that in these sessions, we spend time to go over our advocacy. Sure. Let's also talk about professional development. We have a full course offering of educational opportunities and professional development. We have credential programs such as the CALP, CAM, CAPS, CAMT, IROP for the, uh, for the independent owners, and CAS for our supplier members. We also um, offer avenues training, and to me, this is one of the best buys for your buck. It, their annual, it's an annual property subscription, and it's unlimited attendance to the general management topics. There's Main Street is what they're called. Uh, maintenance, including maintenance for managers, leadership, marketing, and new this year, there's an Excel and uh, tech track. And so if you have a, you have a property and you have six employees between your maintenance and your office, you may want to send three to one thing, three to another, or, you know, if it's that important, close your office, everybody go, however you work it. But it's very low cost. And if you have 200 units or less, the annual cost is $199. <clears throat> for 200 to 350 units, it's $399. And if it's over 350 units, it's $499 a year. 
And we also added this year where suppliers could also benefit from these classes and they would take the and they pay $199 a person. So there's a, this is this is whether you have, whether you work for a large company or a small company, anytime you can get additional education and development, especially at this price point, you the, it's really it's really important to take advantage of it. Other trainings we have leasing 101. Let's say that you have you know you have people that have come in that are interested in a job or interested in the industry but don't know where to start. Or if you have new leasing people that are starting with you, Leasing 101 is a great way to orient people to our industry. We also have fair housing classes, technology training, certified pool operator uh, classes, and more. Now, you know, in looking at this, and if you take everything, say, gosh, but it can really be expensive, and my company only allows this much for development as far as training dollars, well, the great thing is, is Houston Apartment Association offers grants they for to get your credentials. So let's say you wanted to get your CAM designation, and your comp and your company um, say they pay fifty percent. You could put in for scholarship dollars to pay the other fifty percent. Even if they pay a hundred percent, let's say there were two of y'all that wanted to go, put in a put in a grant request for the others so that it really stretches your company's um, training dollars. And so those that application is online. And if you have a question or can't find it, just email uh, HAA and they'll get you to the right uh, direction. Fill out the application, send it in. And I think you'll really see the benefits of, of really stretching your training dollars. Um, education conference is held annually. We have um, over 2,000 attendees. We may have had more than that this year, Amanda, right? Yeah, we had over 2,700 attendees. It was crazy. And I really think that that was a result of offering the educational offerings to a broader audience. And we even had um, some of the classes that were in Spanish. And that's the first year that we've done that. Yeah. So. I saw um, at the trade show a lot of a lot more people from on site and you could tell they had been there all day and they were very excited about the opportunities that they got from the education and from networking with the suppliers. So next uh, the next training, the next education conference, you can go ahead and put it on your calendar now is May 16th, 2024 at NRG. Yep, for sure. You know, we are, um, Kathy, I know you wrote a book on um, Spanish. What, remind me of the title. It's uh, Speak It in Spanish, Workplace Spanish for the Multifamily Industry. There's, you know, when I'm, when I read, I, my undergraduate degree was in Spanish. And so moved after college here. And I didn't realize until I started thinking about it, how much time I was taking during the day for either people on my property or on other properties calling me to translate for them. Yeah. Oh, how funny. <laughs> and early in my early in my career, I even did a short course for the Apartment Association to teach people some uh, easy ways to speak in short sentences. So I finally finished the book um, last year and you don't have to know Spanish or, you know, you think, well, I can't pronounce it. It sounds funny. It has the pronunciation for you for each word what wow. syllable stressed everything and you can just start putting your language together and let's face it a lot of times when you talk about communication if you know 300 words in a language you can move around in it but yeah. the most interesting thing I found out was when I was sending out parts of my book for people to, to look at to review the Spanish speakers were asking when they could get a copy because uh -huh. they were really excited about it and you could already tell the connections it was building between the English speaking and the Spanish speaking employee, because if you try to, if you reach out to a Spanish speaking person in their language, it makes them feel more comfortable trying to speak to you in English. For so sure. the benefits are great. That's why I just thought it was such a wonderful idea that we added that option. And you could tell it, you know, it was needed because of the number of attendees we had. For sure. And in fact, we've got, we started our CPO course today in Spanish and it was a, it's a packed class upstairs. So yeah, we're, we're trying, we're trying, we're getting there. 
Great. Well, let's talk about some of the other programs that we have to offer. Yes, let's. So I think everybody on this call is probably very familiar with Click and Lease, which is our Blue Moon software that hosts all of your lease forms, your all your documents that you need to get your residents moved in and your property um, covered. So we do offer that program. You do have to be a member in order to use the Click and Lease license. A lot of people don't realize that. Another thing that people um, sometimes get confused with is when they get their invoice from Blue Moon, um, they think that it's the HAA invoice. It's two completely different entities. So HAA is the association and the click and lease program is a product of ours or actually technically TAA's product, but you do have to be a member in order to access the Blue Moon license. Now keep in mind also, and you may have heard already, but the printed forms are going away after, I don't know how many years, 50 something years <laughs> of uh, being able to print a lease or uh, having printed forms. That's finally going away next year. So everything's going to be online. Everything's going to be streamlined. Um, it's going to be very cool whenever that does happen. Um, we also have our rental credit reporting service that has been around since 1977, and it was put in place to help solve eviction problems with people skipping around in a certain area. So HAA thought it would be a great idea to report those move-ins and move-outs. That way you can be you were able to, to see if someone came and applied to your property that they just recently had a move-in inquiry three months ago. Why is that? Did they have a short-term lease? Are they skipping out? What's going on? So if you're interested in uh, participating in the rental credit reporting service, there is an additional fee for that. But I think, Kaylin, if you can put um, their email address in the chat, and then maybe you can reach out if you're if you're wanting to get more information on how to be involved with that for your property. Um, then also we've got ACES, which is Apartment Community Executives and Supervisors. It's an acronym, um, but it is basically education and networking for our supervisor level or even our higher level, maybe our more seasoned managers that are looking to become a supervisor. These luncheons are held quarterly and they're usually a more higher level topic. Um, and it's at a fancy schmancy little restaurant and uh, you guys get to lunch and you get to learn as well. So if you're an executive, um, executive or a property supervisor, Supervisor out there, look into the ACES program. I'm sure that some of that education is definitely needed for you. Um, another one of the programs that we offer is the Blue Star Safety Program. This is our effort, our joint effort with HPD to help law enforcement officials and the multi-housing industry work together. So they will go through a full course with you. The, the Houston Police Department instructors will go through um, things like checking out um, issues with your landscaping. Maybe some trees or shrubs are too high and it causes a security issue. Or your lighting or cameras or gates or fire systems, all those types of things that you can um, keep in mind when you're trying to make sure that your property is safe for your member, for your residents, um, that those things happen about every other month um, off site. If you're interested in that, you can just go to our website and look at Blue Star Safety and um, the classes will pop up. They're in di different areas of the of, of town. So you've got some options there. Great. Now, some other things that we do is our outreach. We offer meetings, education, and networking in the outlying uh, areas that I mentioned, like the 12 counties that we operate in. Our vice presidents at large have responsibility for different counties and that outreach. So there may be um, a luncheon with the JP for that, you know, for that area or something that's a topic that's either general to our industry or specific for the area where the meeting's being held. We've done this for several years now, and it's been very well attended and very much appreciated that we are targeting information that's valuable in those areas. We also have online resources available. And when we, uh, do you want to show that now or do you want to wait till we get to the website? Uh, let's wait till we get to the website. Okay. We'll show you some of the online resources. So if you live, so depending on what county you're in, you'll know exactly where to go to find what you need. The awards programs that we have, the honors awards are held annually for individual and property recognition for outstanding service and product. That was just held a few weeks ago, right? Yes. Okay. And then 40 under 40 awards are held every four years to recognize outstanding young professionals in the industry. And speaking of our young professionals, they have 
their own group called HAA Next. This is a great group of up and coming multifamily professionals and they get together for education and, education and networking and they meet for breakfast, happy hours. They, um, I think it's coming, they're doing a PAC event coming up. Yep. So they're raising money for PAC. They are extremely involved in it. And it's a great way to start your leadership track within the associations. And they meet several times a year. And something that's coming up in August, the business, business exchange. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I thought that was it, but I want to make sure. <laughs> it's like an annual uh, speed, uh, speed networking reverse trade show where management members come and sit at a table and suppliers rotate having five minutes to introduce themselves and present their companies and their products. When, um, when I was on the management side and I would, and I would volunteer as an owner manager for, to, uh, to go to these, there was not one that I attended that I didn't come with several pieces of information about a business that I didn't know about that I needed or suppliers that were out there or products that could basically help the way that I do business. So this is very important for, uh, for the owner members. And it's a great way to get to know on a more one-on-one -on -one basis, a lot of the supplier members also. So that's coming up next month. For sure. Um, let's see. And you want to talk about the resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So some other valuable resources. So the Red Book Online, I'm sure most of you should be familiar with that. It used to be a really thick, big, three, four inch book. Actually, it still is. I shouldn't say used to. It still is. It has all kinds of very important information for you to use on a day-to-day -day basis on your properties. Um, it is, again, it's that the print version is also going away and it will be available online only. Only If you have a Blue Moon account or a click and lease license, your Red Book Online already comes with your package. So you're probably already using that, but just keep note that this is the very last year for a real Red Book printed in your hands. If you want one, just send a message to forms at haaonline.org and you can order your very last one. You can just keep it for posterity, I guess. A memorial, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Kathy mentioned this a little bit earlier, but we do also have multiple county access to online resources. So anything that from appraisal districts, JPs, permitting, constables, any of those type of resources that you need to reach out to, um, we've got those also on our website. And I'll show you where to get to those in just a second. But one of the next other resources that we have with, that is very, very popular is our resident relations department. We are the only local association in the country that has its own department that specifically is geared towards residents and answering their calls. So um, if, you're, if you've been around a little bit longer, you may have heard from Matilda Luna. She may have forwarded you um, a uh, form that someone filled out online, maybe one of your residents or one of your past residents. This is a better way. It's an option for us to be able to kind of come as the go in between person if there's an issue with either a security deposit um, issue or um, something that maybe they owed something that they're disputing. We can help you let that resident know that what their renter's rights are. That's first, first and foremost. If you ever get into a situation where you've got a resident in your office and they're just really not understanding what you're saying or they don't like what you're saying, that's normally what it is. Um, give them our number. Tell them to call the resident relations department at HAA. If they don't believe you, they can believe the experts in that area and let them know what their renters' rights are and give them some other options that they can do to pursue and try to make themselves make them happy. Um, also, it's there for you too, um, as a manager or, or supervisor. Call our resident relations department if you do have a situation you're not sure on how to handle it. That's what they're there for. So um, just call the main number of HAA and ask for the resident relations department and she'll be able to help you. Um, and then of course, building rentals. We have been in our building since 2008, I believe. 
um, and it was brand spanking new when we first moved in um, and we've kind of kept it up over the years. But if you ever want to have a meeting here, whether it's a manager's meeting or an on-site team meeting, something like that to get away from the office, we do have rooms here. We've got a large conference room that holds up to 16 people. We've got a small conference room that holds six, but we also have rooms upstairs where we hold all of our training classes. And if you needed a something bigger, um, you'd be able to rent those spaces out with fully stocked with AV and a kitchen and all that good stuff. Um, and then if you wanted to do a, a computer training, we also have a computer lab. It's got, um, I think, 22 stations in it. And you will you can bring in either your own software or get with our IT department and figure out what you need on those computers. Most people use it for budget camps. That's coming up. So if you're interested in renting any of our space or want the and want to see what the costs are, just uh, reach out to members at haaonline.org and we'll send you that information and let you know and let us know what your meeting dates are too to see if the, the space is available. Great. Thank you, Amanda. Now <laughs> here's some HA publications and they're all free with your membership. The first one is the Abode Magazine is published monthly. Um, and the and the buyer's guide. It's, are we still printing it? Yes, ma'am. We're okay. still printing it. We're People, still printing it. That's not going away. <laughs> yeah, we're still printing the buyer's guide. Yeah. Um, and that's printed annually. But really what I like and have, have become to love even more is the online version of the buyer's guide. Can you pull it up, Amanda? Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me show you all this cool tool that Kathy's talking about. Um, it's haabuyersguide.com, and it is basically everything that is in the book, but it's got um, links for you to actually go ahead and click right away instead of having to go back to your computer and figure out those things. Let me get a new share here on my screen. Let me ask you this, Amanda. If the book is, is printed once a year, if during the year new members join, do you go ahead and update the online version? The online version is live. So as soon as that application is approved, they will appear here. If you're ever looking for or suppliers looking to do business with you and you want to check to see if they're members of HAA, go to haabuyersguide.com and you'll be able to look them up either by their company name or by the category. So today's sponsor was Santos Contracting, right? So they're a GC. So if I'm here looking for a general contractor, I just put in the category that I'm looking for, click find it. It, and all of the supplier partners that are part of HAA currently will be listed here. You'll notice that at the top, there's um, there's several different um, companies that have their, their logo there. They've got, it tells you what type of member they are. They have ads in our printed directory. That's kind of why they're at the top. And then it will go by alphabetically. So for general contractors, we've got 87 companies within HAA. So there's plenty of those guys to go around. But let's just say you need a, you need a bid and you need it quick. So if I'm looking for a fence replacement, let's just say I'm going to and you want to reach out to several different companies at once, this request for information tool is going to be your best friend. So what you will do is just click the companies that you want to reach out to. And it can be as many as you want. And you'll notice there's a little running tally here that will tell you all of the recipients that you're clicking on. And you just say, OK, I would like to create a request and you will click on that button right there. And then it will send you to this form. You just type in your company name. You're putting your information in here. And I'm spelling my name wrong, but you guys get the idea. Um, and you just let them know what your email address and phone number are. Plus, put your message in there, what you're needing exactly. If you hit the send request button, it will shoot out that message to all of those people that you selected. And they will get back to you. Instead of emailing person one by one by one, you'll be able to do this in within, I don't know, that was 30 seconds. So um, if you're looking for a company and you just don't know the name, uh, you don't, you know who it is, but you don't know their their uh, their contact information, type it in, and then they'll pop right up and you'll be able to either send a request for information, you can email them directly here, or you can go to their website. It also will tell you all of the other services that they provide to um, within their organization. So very cool tool for you. Um, I highly recommend you use it. You're going to use it every day now that you know that it's there. Yeah, you can bookmark it to your computer and just have it easy access. Totally. 
Okay, let me go back to the slides here. If I can see them, where are they? Here we are. Okay. okay. You're doing double duty. The third <laughs> yeah. publication is our uh, compensation and benefits report. This is a biannual report that you can download for free. And this gives average salaries and compensation packages that are customary specifically for our area. You do have to have login to access the, the login that Amanda talked about at the beginning of the webinar today. Now, currently the 2021 um, report is on the website. The 2023 edition is going to be released later this year. So be on the lookout for that. And you can especially, this is a great time, especially going into budget season, download it. And as you're looking at your salaries, this could give you a basis for comparison as you're putting that information together for next year's budget. For sure. We are getting ready to um, do one for this year. So we'll be, our goal is to try to have that out mid-August. So keep an eye out for that. We'll send an email blast whenever the most up-to-date one um, is released. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about the website early on and the different county things it does. So I'm going to have, we transitioned our website now about, what, nine months ago? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to have Amanda go on to haaonline.org and show you some of the cool features and areas on the website that you may not have gone to yet that can really help you in your day-to-day -day business. For sure. So this is our website, haaonline.org. If you don't have a login, just send an email to members at haaonline.org, or you can at this sign in, you can go ahead and click on WebReg here and it will send a, send a message to that group and they'll send you a login for yourself. Um, but I am logged in now. And so now I have access to other things such as registering for events, that compensation and benefit salary survey that Kathy just mentioned, um, and some other resources that we have available on the website. So one of the things that I wanted to show you guys was here's the advocacy page. And this has a ton of information here for you to get access to. We've got TAA's information and resources here. We've got some um, links to other things such as pools, drainage fees, all kinds of other things that you might need access to. But I want to get to this page and show you where your local resources are. If I can, my, my, my mouse is not playing nice with me right now. But here you go. On the advocacy page, you see this little sidebar where you've got some resources here that will take you to, um, if there's maybe some chemical inhalation, there's other things from that are related to COVID. This one is the biggest one, the manager resources by county. So if you are in a county that is not in Harris, <laughs> then and maybe you're in your Brazoria or Fort Bend, you want to go to those, those, that information page to see the resources that are there. Whoops, I did something wrong there. Uh, let me go back and see what happened here. Yeah, so this will get this is just Austin County. It'll give you the appraisal district, and this will be for every city here. I need to go back and double check some of these links, but um, sometimes you need to know the justice of the peace. I mean, there's things that you just don't really you don't really have quick access to. You have HAA be your resource, your first point of contact. If you go to our website and you're looking for something, it will probably be there. If not, just send us an email and say, "Hey, where can I find this?" and we'll send you send you what you need. Um, there was something else I was gonna show Kathy. Oh, about the jobs if you're looking for oh, it. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So if you wanted to post a job, you also do need a login for that. Um, on the homepage of HAA, you will see that it is very easy to go. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my uh, with my mouse, but here we go. So you want to post a job, just go here. Um, sometimes too, if you log in, they also have resumes. So if you're not really sure what, if you're ready to, to hire someone or replace someone, go and see the resumes out there without actually posting it. You can try that, but um, there is fees uh, associated with posting a job. Um, you'll see some people that are, that are currently looking right now, um, but this is where you're going to go. And this also pulls all um, even if it's uh, outside, if somebody, if there's an organization that's outside of F Houston, they will, and they're looking for somebody in Houston, they'll post their job here as well. And this is also tied to TAA's job board too. So if you're looking for another city or you need uh, to post a job in another city, you're able to do that as well. Um, what else were we going to talk about? Job board, property management change form. I do want to point this out. 
If you are a, a third-party management firm or an owner management firm, then um, you will know that you always are buying and selling properties. It happens quite often. You don't have to fill out a brand new application if you're just adding a property to your portfolio. All you need to do is go to the HAA online page, click on the membership tab, and then click on this blue button that says transfer add new property. All you need to do is fill that out. We will get it right away. And then Kaylin will follow up with you and let you know when your property change has happened. Try to do that before you reach out to Blue Moon. That way your Blue Moon um, services, we know beforehand because we have to confirm that you are a member every time you open or transfer a new license. So fill out this form first and then let us know that it's happening or when it's happening. Even if you know in advance, two, three months in advance, let us know. We'll, we'll um, flag it for a certain date and we'll follow up with you when we need to. So even uh, if you're losing management of a property, do you go on and put that you've that you're no, no longer managing. normally normally no that's just for if you're adding something okay. normally we'll just get an email or someone will they'll send us a letter so you can still send us a letter and let us know that as of certain date you are no longer going to be managing xyz assets so okay um, that's easier anything else you wanted to show I already showed the buyer's guide you have the calendar of events this is another great website to bookmark on your computer because it has a ton of information gives yeah. you everything about pricing, uh, what you know, what each event is about. So I think that this is is extremely beneficial, also. For sure, yeah. Like Kathy was mentioning, the um, the pack fundraiser that we're having that the Nexters are hosting is going to be a casino night. So that is happening on July the 18th. All you would need to do. Um, I'm clicking, but nothing's happening. There it goes. <laughs> um, you would just go in, it'll give you the information, like she said, and then you just click register myself. And if you've got um, you've got other people that you want to register, they'll also not this one is not um, because it's a pack event, you can only register yourself. But um, other events, we will say register someone else, and you can register your whole team using that button. So yeah, very, very, um, very, very easy. Right. Thank you. Sure. Let me go back to the PowerPoint real quick. Okay. All righty. So we went over the buyer's guide, the haexpo.org. If you want to know anything about it, the upcoming expo, you can go to, you can get to it through the website also. Yep. The, okay. the HA online, but also there's, it has its own website at haexpo.org. So that's available. Um, Oh, social media. I'm turning it over to you. Yeah. So we've got all the social medias. We don't have threads just yet, but um, I don't, I'm not going to say that's not going to happen, but you never know. Right now we're just on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, Twitter even, and we also have our own YouTube channel. So if you want to get plugged in and get involved and find out what we're doing in all things HAA, follow us on, on each of those platforms. Either look it up by Houston Apartment Association or HAA Online. Our YouTube channel is HAA TV. So if you want to get plugged in, go ahead and um, the the join the, gr the Facebook group. It is a private group and you do have to be a member. And we share only members only type information on the Facebook page, but we'll also promote events. We'll also promote other members doing great things in our industry. We like to talk about our members a lot on the HAA Facebook group page. So go ahead and join that today if you can. Some other things too that you want to try, maybe get involved with, with other than our social media, join a committee. If you're looking to volunteer your time and to put it, put your effort, your energy into something that's going to be worth your while, and then um, do something for your career, possibly join a committee. There are tons of committees that HAA has to offer from uh, expo committee, resident relations. That is the committee that reviews all the complaints that we get from residents and they will sit in a room and they'll look at the information that presented in front of them and they'll decide if they're going to rule in favor of the owner or the resident. That's a really good committee. When I was on site, that was a committee that I was on and I learned so much just by being on that committee. Um, it is limited. There are two um, segments of the resident relations department, um, but they're always looking for management help because you guys have the knowledge and the expertise to be able to sit in and kind of review those, those lease contracts and all the forms that go along with that. So if you're interested, email Matilda Luna or res relations at haonline.org. 
Um, we've also got community outreach. That's another big committee that we have where we help out organizations and other adopted charities of the Houston Apartment Association. And those can be things from um, the, the Red Cross, Crime Stoppers. We've done Camp Hope. There's lots of different organizations that we have raised money for. One of the um, re most recent activities that we did was we raised money for Shelters to Shutters, which is now called Entryway. They're one of our adopted charities that help um, situational homelessness. So if there's a situation where someone is, is in between homes and they just need a little extra help, um, Entryway is a great program for them to help them get back on their feet, providing toiletries, providing um, other resources they may need, such as jobs or training, things like that. Um, community outreach is definitely something that any member can get involved with, how, whatever level you want to get involved with, whether it's just a little bit, you just want to help with the school supply drive, um, you can do that. If you want to do all the things, you can do that too. So if you're interested, email Susan Hinckley, and that's going to be shinkley at haaonline.org. And I think Kaylin will put that in the chat for you as well. Go to our website and you'll see the full list of committees that you're able to get involved with and all the other special um, projects such as Go-Getters, which is our recruiters for HAA. They help us recruit new members to the association, suppliers and owner partners. Um, it just depends. And then um, if you want to write an article for Abode or maybe one of your one of your investors, your owners wants to write an article for a boat, they can also do that as well. Um, so you can get, they'll get a little bio at the end of the um, end of their article and they'll be able to get magazines and share them with their other people and kind of brag about themselves. So there's lots of different ways for you to be able to give back and then um, get involved and then enhance your career ultimately. Can you back up one slide? I wanted to talk just a minute about network and, and team building. Ah. You didn't do this one, I don't think. Did I not? Oh, did I skip it? I probably did. That's so, okay. But, so, you know, it's a, it, it. this really is um, the networking and team building is also an important benefit of belonging to the association. Uh, we have general meetings and sporting events, and that gives you and your company exposure, and it offers a lot of team building opportunities. Like Amanda said, we have the Casino Pack fundraiser coming up, uh, a bowling tournament, in August, business exchange, next summer social are both in August. In September, we have maintenance appreciation and we also have a go-getter meet and greet. So again, if you bookmark the um, HAA website, you can always have access to a calendar to see what's going on. So you can pick what you wanna do. Absolutely. Um, you know what, I'm gonna double check that date. Is that the right date? It's not right. I think it's the 18th. I think it's the 18th, guys. Yes, it is. Sorry, it my is. apologies. It's July 18th, not the 17th. <laughs> so um, I'll, well, I'm going to remove it after this, but yeah. Uh, just making sure you guys have the most up to date information. Yeah. So, um, and then we already covered commit, uh, committees, right. and committees, all that good stuff. Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> That's okay. But I want to talk about our supplier partners. I have a passion for our supplier partners that are part of HAA. We cannot do what we do without their support and without their monetary support as well. So they give their time, their talent, their money to be able for us to host all of the events and all of the educational offerings that we have to our members. Um, they provide 1.5 million or more every year to HAA. And that can be in sponsorships, advertising, expo booths, pack involvement, all the things. And then just attending, you know, buying teams. I, you know, they'll buy bowling teams for management companies. They'll buy volleyball teams for management companies. So they are very integral to the, to a, the HAA's success. So whenever you see them out there or they're on your property and they come visit, just making a, a sales call, give them a moment of your time. I promise you, you will get something out of it. Um, they will support you and they will be there with you every step of the way. They're also a very, very, um, they're very passionate about HAA and its success because if we're not successful, they're not successful. So make sure you thank a supplier partner the next time you see them. I 
think we've covered a lot, Kathy. That was um, like drinking from a fire hose, but that's why we send them to PowerPoint and we post it afterwards. So kind of, kind of. Yeah, exactly. So um, you guys were asking some questions along the way, which was great. And I think we got all of those answered. There was one question that that asked about, um, can an invoice be sent to join the PAC? Unfortunately, we can't send an invoice because it is a political action committee, but reach out to the government affairs department and um, see what other options there might be for you. Also, we were asked, um, is the Blue Moon auto billed to my account? No, we are two separate entities. And if you've got some billing um, situations going on, you can reach out to Blue Moon and just email them at, at support at bluemoonforms.com and they'll be happy to help you out. And those are the only two questions that we had. I think um, that's it for now. Kaylin, what do you think? Should we give away some prizes? I think so. What do you think? I'm okay with that. Let's try it. All right. All right. So you guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you three questions about some of the content that we presented today. And the first person that's in the chat will get, that has the correct answer, will win a $15 gift card to AMC theaters. We're back in the theaters now. So I thought, why not? <laughs> so let's ask the first question. Um, again, in your chat and Kaylin's going to follow this, just type the answer. We can see your name. So um, let's ask the first question, which is going to be, what company was our sponsor today? Does anybody remember what the sp today's sponsor was? Can we know? Come on, just takes one. That's right. They are able to chat, are they? Aren't they? Yeah, I'm just making sure. Okay, because I'm not seeing. Here. Huh. I'm wondering if, hopefully, it's not disabled. Um, attendees can chat with chat. Okay. Huh. Anybody? Let's try the next question and we can come back. Yeah, let's <laughs> see if we've got, if you cannot chat, will you go ahead and put it in the Q&A to let us know? Um, while I'm there, though, I do have a quick question from Eric. He says, who do we contact to join the education committee? That's a very good question. If you want to join the education advisory council, you can reach out to education at haaonline.org. And we just got somebody to answer the question. Yeah, we sure did. We've got Brianna Espitia. I hope I said that right, Brianna. But yes, you <laughs> good. <laughs> Santos Contracting was today's sponsor. So awesome. We will contact you once the session is over to find out where to mail you your gift card. Let's try again. How about the second question? Let's do, how many counties does HAA cover? You guys remember that? Remember Kathy said, remember that? <laughs> great oh, Catherine D, quick. she replied with 12 and that is absolutely correct now Kathy, Catherine, can you name all 12 of those counties I'm just kidding I'm just kidding you don't have to do that <laughs> that's just me <laughs> very good we'll reach out to you with your uh with your prize after this last question what is the website address for the online buyer's guide <laughs> see if y'all bookmarked it while we were going through you'd know <laughs> Right. Does anybody remember the website address for the online buyer's guide? No. Perfect. Well, I'll take it, Catherine. HAABuyersguide.com. That is correct. So um, go there whenever you need to look for a supplier partner. Kathy, what else do you got for us? I think that's it. We've gone over everything. Just let me go over the contact information for HAA that's here, their address, their phone number, email. And of course, we went over the website. But most of all, thanks for joining us today. We do this quarterly to make sure that we keep everybody, our new, uh, new and current members up to date on what the benefits of HAA are. And I want to really thank Amanda um, for co-hosting with me today because I know she has a lot on her plate, but I'm glad she took this time out to help with this. So thank you, Amanda. Absolutely. My pleasure. And you were always wonderful as well, Kathy. I appreciate you so much. You guys don't, I didn't share this, but Ka I've known Kathy since, I don't know, was it 94, 95, maybe? Huddleston? 
We've known her, I've known her forever. And she was, um, she's been a mentor to me. She's been a great advisor. She's an awesome person. If you're interested in reaching out to Kathy, Kathy, you want to share your email address? Yes, it's Kathy at vrcoaching.com. And if you want information about my book, you can email me there and I'll send you that link also. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. We appreciate you taking out this hour of your time. If you've got any questions, please reach out to Kaylin and I. We'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you somewhere soon, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Done? Yes, ma'am. See ya.